Hey guys, welcome to another exciting album review on Hit Songs TV. I am Janelle, and today I will be reviewing one of the elders of rap album. It's Nazis Nasir album. Now, after a really long time, that is six whole years since he dropped his Life Is Good album in 2012, we've not heard anything from Nas, and now he surprises us with his Nasir album, which was produced by Kanye West. Now, this is not the first time Kanye West and Nas are working together. Kanye West once featured in Nas's song in 2005, We Major, and Kanye West also partly produced his Hip Hop Is Dead album and also got featured in it. But this is the first time that they are working together on a full project. Now, this is Kanye West's fourth out of five albums this season. Kanye West has produced five albums this year from um, Pusha T's album to his own year album to his collaborative album with Kid Cudi, Kid C Ghost and then he produced Nazi's album and Tayana Taylor's album. Now going back to Nazi's album, Nasir is not just any kind of rap album. It's about context. It touches different issues mostly centered on politics in America and as a way, I think Nas uses Nasir album to tell you and I that he can still hold his ground in the hip hop world at age 44. And I gotta tell you, he did a really good job. Like, it, it was nice. Although it was below expectations, like listening to other Nas's album, like rating them together, you're like, okay, um, this is Life is Good and this is Nasir. But still, I still say that he's the OG when it comes to rapping. Now, Nasir album has seven songs, and each of these songs touches different issues. Like I said, it centers around politics mostly, and each of them touches one major issue in America to another. Like, it's just beautiful. Now, the album opening, Not For Radio, is just something that just kicks you off your feet. Like, you're just sitting down and then you're like, okay, let me hear this Nasir album. And the first song that comes up is Not For Radio. Like, it's just a knockout. And Kanye West's instrumentals just kills it all. Like, it's beautiful. The whole church choir coming at the back and um, they lead the voice saying, I think you're scared of us. It's it's really nice i like it it's a very beautiful way to start the album and it features pdd and then when you hear pdd's voice it just takes you back to pdd and nazi's song hate us now it's it's really nice i think nas featuring pdd in the not for radio song was just good and then the next song that comes after cops shot the kid it's as in the pace is just there like you're not over not for radio and then you hear cops shut the kid it's just beautiful both songs are just well they're marvelous cops shut the kid the track just takes you by surprise because it starts it starts with um a little bit of conversation at the front you hear cops talking to the kids uh, move along and all that and then comes the beats you just don't expect it and the song features kanye west and Kanye West drops some massive lines on it. Um, Nas also kills his own parts. Like the song is just beautiful. I, I like it. I love Cop Shot the Kids. It's one of my, it's actually my favorite in the album. And then from there, like every other track that followed actually fell way below expectation. It's like the album went from this and just went back down. Like the other tracks, just, it featured different artists and then Nas was in the loop which is not actually his strong key. I don't think staying in the loop, like giving a um, melody to a song, it's not, it's not his strength. We're used to him giving the hardcore rap and everything, like touching of, of issues, like the way he did in Cops Shot the Kids when he was talking about Black Lives Matter and gun violence and everything. That's the Nas we know. The other tracks just seem, seems like he was leaving the work for the other artists, like, yeah, you just carry on and do this for me. Like, I'll just be here giving melody. And it's not, nah, it's not his biggest strength. But the last song, Simple Things, is actually the closing the album deserved. Like, Nas just removes the distractions of other guest artists in his song and he took these simple things all by himself. He admitted his flaws and saying he doesn't pay attention to production. He pays much more attention to the message he's passing. And he tells critics, like he practically told them like I don't care what you have to say because my fans buy my song based on the message I give them like it's which is actually true Nas always sends powerful messages through his song now the cover art 
of um, Nasir is as in you just see it and you just know what it's about like you see the kids lined up with guns in their hand in a place that is written no trespassing like they're lined up like they're waiting to be picked out for a crime or something like just captures you emotionally I think that cover art was really was really artistic and Nasir just is just wonderful especially being produced by Kanye Kanye just blessed the entire album with his beautiful beats each beat was like working in line with the lyrics and giving it more life and I really think they did a very good job together. I just have to say Nas actually really did benefit from um, good music. That's Kanye West's record label. Nas may have fallen short of expectations for a lot of people, but we still have to admit that he's still the OG and we can't help but point out that he's extremely, really talented. As in, at 44, he's still got this juice. Like, he's really good. I, I give him a thumbs up. Now, Nasir might not be like Life is Good or his hit songs, um, Ilmatic, but it is actually something to give a thumbs up and it's something to recommend to people I think he did a good job even if it might be below expectation of what I wanted because yeah I've listened to other Nazi song and albums rather and it's really good but this this was actually really good so yeah thumbs up to you Naz and this brings us to the end of our album review today don't forget you can drop your own review at the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel and all our various social media platform and until next time i remain janelle bye for now guys <laughs>